Tonight, a local woman is hoping someone will see her story and help her find a stolen trailer full of her artwork and family memories. It was taken just a more than a week ago, the night before she moved into her new home. As RTV6's Nicole Griffin reports, she has located some of her belongings, but a majority still missing tonight. Just days after reporting that her trailer was stolen, that woman received a tip that some of her belongings were inside this West Side store. So we are asking the owners tonight what happens. Moving from Carmel into her new Broad Ripple home has not been a happy memory for Beatriz Vasquez. That's because this red trailer full of her things was stolen from her mother's home. I got a tip off from, from a stranger on Facebook and he sent me pictures of, of uh, things that belong to me and he said, I know where your trailer is, I know who has your trailer. That tip led her here to Bricks Wholesale on West Washington Street. We looked in through the window and there were multiple, multiple of items that belonged to us. She says IMPD received a warrant Monday and she now has some of her things back, but not her artwork or the trailer. I parked the trailer at uh, Lynnhurst in Minnesota and Park Fletcher and I called the police. I told them where it was sitting at and I don't know what happened to it from there. Brandon Davis is the owner of Bricks Wholesale. He says he bought the trailer from a guy and did not know that it was stolen. To us, it looked like a lot of trash. Uh, we cleaned the trailer out, and then when we found out the trailer was stolen, you know, we took everything back out of the trash that we had taken out of the trailer and put it back in it. There's a few things that got left inside our store, but it wasn't intentionally. Davis's wife reached out to Beatriz on Facebook explaining what happened. Uh, the commentary that she was putting on my Facebook feed was uh, so self-incriminating. I could not believe it. it. It's so surreal. This whole situation has been so incredibly hurtful, uh, very painful to, to me and my family. But now she says she just hopes to get her artwork back. Nicole Griffin, RTV6.